Um, so, um, okay, yeah, Shrek and Cory in the house and fiction. Can you speak <laughs> louder? Shrek's point of view. It was an ugly day in my swamp, just how I like it. I was headed out to the local village to scare the shit out of all the pretty white bitches there. I was strolling through the village and listening to the beautiful sound of white bitches screaming. But I stopped dead in my tracks and I heard a ghetto-ass black scream. I turned around and saw someone who, caught, who just caught my eye. He was beautiful. He was about average height and he was black, so he looked gorgeous. I decided I would attempt to talk to him, so I walked up and he, and he looked terrified. I felt so bad because I would never do anything bad to this gorgeous man. <laughs> so I walked up and said, Hi, I'm Shrek, what's your name? He looked so nervous and he couldn't talk properly, but he said, I'm, I, I'm Cor Corey. So his name was Corey. So I asked him if we would like to go eat lunch with me. Okay, I'm just gonna skip to chapter three. Because chapter three makes me ridiculously happy. I'm putting this on my YouTube, by the way. I'm putting this on my YouTube. All right. <laughs> You'll finally have something Corey, on your YouTube. Is, guys, hey, douchebags. All right. <laughs> Corey's point of view. I'm going to just say it. Shrek, I'm sorry, what are you reading? <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Shrek, I love you. I know I have only known you for a few days, but Shrek, I love you so much. And I just didn't feel right because I wasn't being completely honest with you. So Shrek, I love you. Oh my god! Then I said it. Oh, oh my no. god! Shrek is just standing there staring at me. He probably thinks I'm weird. I knew he would never love me back. I just made a huge fool of myself. Shrek's point of view. He loves me. He really does. I thought he would never He's love me. Out loud. Corey, I love you too. He looked at me oh, and smiled no. and said, You do? I really do. I thought he you could never love me want too. Want that. So I, I never said anything. Ah. It's a different fiction. It's just All right. fiction, so... Alright. Corey's point of view. He loves me back. Oh my god, yay! I pulled him in and we shared the most passionate kiss. Oh it was god. so amazing. I want him so bad. I seductively whispered in his ear, Do you want to come inside me? Oh my god. He smiled at me and we walked inside and I led him to my bedroom. When we got inside, I shut the door and pushed him up the wall and started kissing him. We, we then started undressing each other and he pushed me back into bed and said, Are you sure about this? In his thick Scottish accent. Wait, he's a Scottish accent? I never knew that. I knew he didn't want to hurt me. He just wanted to make sure I was comfortable with this. Of course, I'm sure, Shrek. I love you. I whispered, taking Shrek's face into my hand and leaning up to him to kiss softly. Now please, Shrek, get into my house. And we all know what happened next. Wait, there's a chapter four. Oh my god. Let's see what happens in chapter so four. After I, so after I had fucked Shrek so hard, I started getting morning sickness about two weeks after, and I got really worried. And okay, okay, I know Cora is a dude, but he can get preggers. Because I said so, I'll suck my dick. <laughs> So I went and bought a packet of emergency uh, pregnancy tests, and I used all of them, and they all had a plus sign, and I started crying. How do I tell Shrek that I'm preggers with his baby? I don't know what to do. Maybe I should get an abortion, but I don't have $700, and I can't get that money because I, do I donate all the profits from my show to charities. Maybe I should just run away and raise the children as a single mother. I don't know how to tell Shrek. I mean, neither did. He would leave me. I just know it. Is. I know he wouldn't want this kid. I mean, neither do I, but we didn't use protection and this is what happened. I am cutting it off right there. I am done. So Tyler, what do you think of this fan fiction? I think it's worse than Shrek is Love Shrek. You're welcome for I, telling you wait, about it. Wait, I want to read the fic now. Caution, this fic, came, this fic contains extreme sexual moments and animal abuse. If you were of the faint heart, it's triggered easily. Or I just don't really want to read things like this, then stop here. Read more. No, I do not own the story, and I do not claim any rights to it. Where the fuck is it, then? Oh, there it is. Right. Uh. It's Dan and on fire and amazing Hurry fell, up. right? Uh. Hurry up! Hey, Dan, can we get a hamster? I've always wanted one, but my roommate never thought that we would look after it. Phil, we've talked about this. You wouldn't look after it properly. You can hardly look after yourself, he retorted. It wasn't really in an angry way, but he never even took into account that I was older than him and I lived by myself before him, so getting a hamster wouldn't be that bad. I decided not to argue. Dan was so stubborn and wouldn't change his mind. I was going into town later anyway, so I needed to get changed. I put my usual skinny jeans and a top on. I finished getting the, f the few pieces of food that Dan and I needed and was heading back to the bus. When I walked past the pet shop, I couldn't resist but walking, and I saw a cage with a small fluffy black and white hamster in the corner. 
was priced at ten pounds. It was too small to cute. It was too small and cute to say no, so I bought it and a cage. I walked out just as my bus arrived. I paid my fare and hopped on. I couldn't stop smiling. My hamster was one of the best things I've ever done, or that's what I thought. I got home and shouted out to Dan. Dan, come and see what I bought. He bounced into the hallway of the front door. What's up? I raged the cage. Er, raised the cage. I raised the cage with the furry ball curled up in the corner again. The ex God, the expression on his face changed from a sweet and innocent smile to a sick and twisted one with an evil glint in his eye. I love it. it. I was completely wrong about saying no to getting one. Oh my god. The way he said it made, it made me feel uneasy. What so what's it called? <coughs> the hat fit. I, you know what? I'm totally fucked and I'm just reading it. Yeah, keep going! Do you know keep going! How about you read some Justin Bieber fanfiction? Hell oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Wait, I already... Can we call him Striker, please? I've always loved that name, and I don't really know why. Like sure. Herbert's reply was cold and dark. <laughs> what was Jake. wrong with him? I shrugged it off and went to my room. It was only 9 o'clock, but I was tired, and I felt a bit ill. I pulled my PG, P, PJ bottoms on and slipped into bed. I woke up during the night, my body freezing, and I was unable to move. I opened my eyes, and they were wide with shock. I looked down and I was naked with ropes tying me to a chair. And in the corner was a sinister looking Dan that was also naked. Morning, Sleeping Beauty. I was wondering how the cold room had to be for you to wake up. His voice sounded so fluffy and innocent, but the words coming out were in. He was only wearing his fluffy brown hat. He pulled it off to reveal a small black creature sitting in a striker. What the fuck was he doing? I normally don't swear, but the situation was so confusing and I was terrified. <laughs> what was going to do? What was Dan going to do with me? D Dan, what are you doing? Why am I tied up? Why? I stopped when he moved towards me. His expression changed from being happy, like when I woke up to murderous. Don't be scared, Phil. We're going to have some fun with the striker. <laughs> Tackled menacingly and showed off his erect member, making mine start to rise. <laughs> he put the hat down, Striker still sitting in there, and faced it with his length and perfect height to aim into it. White. <laughs> no, no. Dan, what are you doing? No, Please stop. No. He stormed over to me and gave me a rough kiss. Everything will be okay, I promise. Dan grabbed a gag from behind me and put it over my mouth. He walked back over to the hat and began to stoke, looking <laughs> over me as he did so. After a short time, the scene exploded into the hat. Oh no. <laughs> But he didn't stop there. He kept going until the hat was filled up to the top. The white liquid was nearly spilling over Taylor's the Taylor's reaction to smut. He was barely able to breathe. Taylor's oh, reaction to smut. God. Oh my god. I was doing it was doing the doggy pedal just to survive and all I could do was sit and walk the doggy pedal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Dan grabbed the hamster's head and pushed it down into his own sperm. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> after, after five no, minutes of a sick now. he pulled it back not up down. Now. He snapped the hamster's head off. That's bone shattering, making a level that was supposed to be a sarcasm. Or, but it was supposed to be Tyler, a scare, not Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> up, Jake. Tyler, how are you <laughs> Tears, tears flow down my face, and he squeezed the blood of the striker. He squeezed the blood of the striker into the hat. He looked, oh. he looked over at me. He was sick and twisted, but also kind of sexy. Oh my he god! He the hat and moved towards me with one hand and undid the gag. Open wide. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, no, god. no, no! Open wide. He said in a sarcastic tone. I did as I was told. I didn't know what else was hiding behind me. He began to pour the sperm and blood mixture into my mouth, only for me to realize he had put my poor striker back in there, head and body. The fluid tasted disgusting, partly because I had gone cold, but also because I was knew it was my hamster's blood I was jerking. He pulled back halfway through, not that I'm complaining, and said, Good little Phil, do I taste nice? My eyes widened. What do I say? I was about to open my mouth when he slapped me. Speak, bitch! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wanted to raise my hand to my face. My cold face stung when, when this hot, sticky hand touched it. You did amazing, Dan. I managed to choke out. Um, so I'm gonna stop reading, like, right there. Oh my god, that was horrible! <laughs> that 
was horrible. Wait, His wait. first time ever knowing about smut. He poured hamster, hamster Blood guts <laughs> and Just, sperm into oh my his mouth. God. Once again, people are fucked up. This is why I hate fan fiction. And Alyssa's dying. I don't want to. Hey, look up Cube SMP smut. Stop. No, no. Wait, what? Oh my god. 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 Oh my